The U.S. has one of the best reputations in the world for being business-friendly, even for non-U.S. citizens. The U.S. also has a very competitive corporate tax system and a relatively easy LLC formation system. One of the biggest perks is the low startup costs in comparison to many other countries, and the prestige of having a company based out of the U.S. Can a non-U.S. resident start a U.S. LLC? One common misconception about creating U.S. companies is that you have to be a U.S. citizen to start one and have a U.S. SSN, Social Security Number. This is wrong. You don't have to be a U.S. citizen, be a U.S. resident, i.e., green card holder, or have a U.S. SSN. That means you can start a U.S. LLC as a non-resident, online, as a foreigner and get a U.S. LLC, a U.S. bank account, access to U.S. payments, and more. One of the biggest benefits of being a non-U.S. resident starting a U.S. LLC is that an LLC is a pass-through entity, meaning that taxes can pass through to the owners. This means that your business would not be subject to U.S. tax as long as your LLC is 100% owned by non-U.S. tax residents either natural or legal persons, has no U.S. presence or economic substance. The income must not be effectively connected. Should you form an LLC or a C Corp? If you are looking for liability protection and flexibility, limited admin upkeep, tax flexibility, an LLC is a great choice for new businesses. LLCs are considered easier to start and maintain. If you are currently raising or will need to raise U.S. venture capital and take a company public, a C corporation is a great choice. U.S. investors require a C corporation to invest venture capital. At the end of the day, it's your business, your choice. What is the best state to form my LLC in? The best state to form your limited liability company, LLC, in is nearly always your home state. This is because your company is doing business primarily in that state, whether it is a physical business or an online business. There are two exceptions to this rule. You are a non-U.S. resident, in which case you can choose any state and I recommend Wyoming or Delaware. Or if you have a real estate LLC essentially the home state rule doesn't apply here. Some people may also want anonymity in which case Delaware, which does not require owners to list their names, and Wyoming, which allows a nominee to list their name as the owner, are what I recommend. My recommendation between Wyoming versus Delaware. I recommend Delaware only if you have plans to convert your LLC to AC Corp. To raise venture capital from U.S. investors, or you really want the prestige of saying your company is from Delaware. Some customers say this matters to them and if it does, it is your business, your choice. Otherwise, I recommend Wyoming. Why? Wyoming is the most popular state for non-resident entrepreneurs who run online businesses, e-commerce businesses, or are business owners who want an easy and simple way to form and manage their company. It's the most popular state among Inc. file customers, has lower annual fees, $60 versus $300 in Delaware, a low filing fee, $100, was the first state to ever create the LLC. Also don't sleep on Wyoming's prestige as well, it has a friendly business environment and has even been called, the Switzerland of the Rocky Mountains. 6 Steps to Open an LLC for Non-U.S. Residents Step 1. Deciding how to form your LLC You have a few options here and I'll walk through each of them. Number 1. Stripe Atlas, not possible for non-U.S. residents. Unfortunately, Stripe Atlas does not serve non-U.S. residents when it comes to forming U.S. LLCs. They only support U.S. residents. Number 2. File on your own with the state. You are able to form an LLC by filing directly with the state online. To do so you will need to do a few things first. Pick a registered agent. You can do this via a Google search and a registered agent is required in each state for an LLC. They charge yearly fees, depending on the state from $25 to up to $200 I've seen. Pick an LLC name. Search in your state registry if the name is taken too. It also must end with LLC or L.L.C. LLC is usually the most popular. 
file your LLC online. You can do this directly through the state as well, Google to find their link. Each state has different filing fees, which can range from $50 to $500 plus. It can take several days, if not a week plus for the state to get back to you. The state will send you your formation documents, which will include your operating agreement as well. Number 3, Ink File. If you're looking for a, a one-stop shop, long-term solution that helps you not only form your LLC but also help you with getting a registered agent, U.S. address, EIN, phone number, IRS, internal revenue service, tax filings and more plus serves as a long-term partner, check out Ink File in the description below. More about them later on. Step 2, U.S. Mailing Address. There are a ton of different options out there to get a physical address for your mail that you can operate remotely. Inkfile provides a U.S. mailing address as part of their package. They also have mailing address service as a separate service. Step 3. Get a U.S. phone number. You will need a U.S. phone number to apply for a U.S. bank account and to set up your PayPal slash Stripe account and more. Here are some of the main reasons why a U.S. phone number is important to get. Business verification, when applying for a bank account, Stripe slash PayPal account, Amazon seller account and more, a U.S. phone number is required. Proof of location, many services will require a utility bill as a proof of location to conduct business. If you want to sell on Amazon, this is a must. Customer support, sometimes customers want to talk to people rather than read a website to search for answers. Professionalism. Give your LLC an added element of professionalism with a U.S. business phone number instead of an international cell, or no number at all. In terms of phone number options, there are many many providers online. A quick Google search can show you a ton of different possibilities. If you're looking for a phone line with a utility bill that also has SMS, unlimited international text and calling, and digital access via computer, check out Inc. File service in the description below. Step 4. Obtain an EIN. Non-U.S. citizens might not be able to have an SSN, but they can apply for an Individual Taxpayer Identification Number, ITIN, through the U.S. Internal Revenue Service, IRS. Once you have an ITIN, you can apply for an EIN using Form SS, for without needing to provide an SSN. Step 5. Open a U.S. Bank Account. Unfortunately, there are very limited options when it comes to banking in terms of who can support non-U.S. residents, without a U.S. SSN and no requirement to travel to the U.S. But you can also use Mercury Banking Service as they allow foreigners to open U.S. bank accounts without the criterias I mentioned previously. How much does Mercury cost? Mercury is free. They don't have minimum balances, account opening fees, or monthly fees. The only things that cost money are wire transfers, which are $5 domestically and $20 internationally. What are some other banking options? Apart from Mercury there are other physical and online banking options like TransferWise, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Silicon Valley Bank, Lilly, First Republic, Novo, Brex and more. Step 6. How to file taxes and stay compliant with the IRS. Taxes and IRS filing requirements can be extremely confusing. So below is an overview of the required filings plus key deadlines to keep in mind to stay on top of taxes and or IRS filing requirements for your LLC. If you own a foreign single member LLC and you are not considered as engaged in US trade or business, you are not required to file 1040 NR or pay personal income taxes. As a, a non-resident alien aka foreigner, you are only required to file and pay taxes in the US. If you have FDAP income for which withholding was not done at source, or have effectively connected income with U.S. trade or business. However, as of 2017, you still report information like a corporation, see Section 1.6038A01. Therefore, unless you have registered as a corporation, all single-member LLCs are subject to these requirements. Failure to file or incorrect filling will incur a minimum penalty of $25,000. Other two important forms you need to file are Preparation of Pro Forma, Form 1120, and Preparation of Foreign Owner Report, Form 5472. 
If you are the owner of a multi-member LLC, then you also need to file Preparation of Partnership Return, Form 1065-2. Do I have to pay a professional CPA to file any needed forms? No, you are not required to do so. But folks sometimes find these forms confusing or stressful to fill out so working with a professional is always an option to remove some stress here. Where do I submit my LLC annual report slash filing? As mentioned above, in Wyoming there is a $60 payment plus an annual report due each year to the state, and in Delaware there is a $300 annual franchise fee tax. Both of these can be paid online, directly to the state. It is possible to launch and grow a U.S. LLC business from anywhere in the world, without the need for U.S. citizenship. And it is also possible to do it on your own. But there are a lot of moving pieces here so it can be helpful to have a hand slash a long-term partner that takes you through the business formation process smoothly and accurately. Inkfile is an amazing company that will guide you every step for you to create your LLC. They even have a service where they will file your LLC for you without you going through any hassle. Watch the rest of the video where I will show you how to form an LLC the right way through Inkfile. As I already mentioned earlier, Inkfile is one of the best companies out there to help you form your LLC. You can click on the link in the description to get access to this deal. Inkfile is one of a kind as it offers a free package with services such as preparing and filing your articles of organization. Well, you still have to pay $237 for the state fees, which you would have to do anyway if you chose the DIY option. But looking at the bigger picture, all other companies will still charge their service fee on top of state filing fees. Inkfile does not collect this fee. This plan already includes a free registered agent for your first year of subscription and $119 annually moving forward if you decide to continue the service after the first year. Inkfile's next packages are the gold and platinum packages which both have package fees, already on top of the $237 state fee. Each package has its own set of services which are all worthy of the subscription you are paying for. The gold package offers you the benefits of filing reports and taxes for your LLC. Every year, USA LLCs are required to file a state annual report. This report is essentially an information update of your file so that the state knows who is now in charge and how to contact your company. USA LLCs are also required to file state tax returns. To make matters even more complicated, your annual report and business privilege tax share a document and are due at the same time each year. With the Inkfile's gold package, you won't have to scribble notes of these reports because Inkfile will handle the whole process for you. Your Platinum package also has these services in the bag with the unique addition of expedited filing, getting a domain name, and a business email which essentially increases your LLC's credibility. Inkfile also has an exclusive partnership with Bank of America so you can easily open an eligible checking account for your business. Yes, it is a must for your LLC to have a business account. Remember an LLC has limited liability, for it is a separate entity from its members. You may forfeit your liability protections if you combine your personal and business money, and this is where the term, piercing the corporate veil, comes into play. Piercing the corporate veil is an LLC jargon that refers to the court's action to hold you as the owner or member of an LLC, personally liable for the LLC's debts or actions. Now, if you have been sued by some lawyer who sees a crack in your LLC, they might resort to piercing the corporate veil in which you are in any position defeated. This is why opening a separate bank account for your LLC is so important. Do you like the level of detail I'm providing you in my review so far? If yes, then make sure to let me know by liking my video and hitting that subscribe button for more high-quality business content.